I've got 10 acres in Coquilala, Idaho. This is between Sandpoint um, and Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Really a great location. In my opinion, just kind of a picture perfect property. It's got some usable building sites, some places for immediate RV usage. There's power right at the property line. You know, a lot of things check out with this property and we have one of the best prices on the market. So going to dive into this video with you. I'm going to cover FAQs. I'm going to cover some common questions. I'm going to go over how you can go visit this property on your own. Um, and just kind of kicking it off. My name is Miles McLaughlin here with Wilco Land. Um, what we do is we buy and sell raw vacant land. So that's our that's our specialty. That's our niche, right? Um, typically offering below market prices and we do offer cash discounts for cash buyers. Um, we do offer some seller financing as well. As I click through the photos here, you can see you know some of the road access we look through, some of the driveway in there. There are some clearings um, per our photographer, for per our real estate agent, um, already ready, you know, potential building sites, potential RV sites and things like that. So when you talk a, about a tangible, usable property in, in North Idaho, this checks all those boxes, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to pull up the property in Google Earth. I'm going to pull it up on Onyx Max, Maps. I'm going to pull up the location with GPS coordinates, kind of teaching you guys how we do due diligence here, how you can do some, own, uh, some of your own research on your own property. Um, we do offer more of a self-service model. However, I do have this listed with a real estate agent. Here's your power. Um, listed with a real estate agent. Her name is Erin Cooper. I'll get to that at the end of the video. You're welcome to work with our real estate agent as well if you if you prefer to work with an agent. Um, otherwise, like I said, we do offer more of a self-service model. You can go and view this property on your own. So right here, you know, you can see um, here's wetlands. Um, we're out of wetlands. Like I said, you know, things are checking out in this neighborhood um, in terms of access. And, and I'm going to pull up the property here on Google um maps and give you a bird's eye view so you can see here's Coeur d'Alene Idaho here's Sandpoint you know North Idaho has really become a hot market for real estate and and we're going to be offering one of the one of the most attractive prices on the market that's really just our business that's the nature of what we do we have to turn property over pretty fast so if you do see us offering some deals it's you know essentially because you know we're in the business of moving land fast right we want to reinvest that money and continue to buy property so I'm just dropping here on satellite views. You can see what the, the road looks like down here, US 95. You can see, you know, here's the access ro road that takes you right up here off Panhandle Drive. Um, and I'm going to pull it up on Google Earth so you can take a peek at this as well. Um, but you can see, I mean, a mostly flat property. The neighbors have developed. That's always a great sign. Um, you know, you're, you're going to be looking at septic and well for this property. We're outside of city limits, which is going to offer a lot of freedoms to what you can do with the, the land. There's really, I mean, we're talking North Idaho. There's not a lot of restrictions. So that's why people are moving to North Idaho, you know, um, camping RVs, they are allowed on this property, build your off grid bunker, you know, build something on grid, grid, build a permanent residence, you know, build a vacation home or just invest in raw land in an area where it's only bound to go up. Um, and so like I said, really a nice property here. You've got access along here. Looks like somebody's built in a driveway here. You know, this is an overlay. So this this technically could be on our subject property. I actually think it is. Um, and it leads to a clearing here. So this is just an overlay. It's not totally perfect. Um, this yellow image we're overlaying on satellite imagery. So we can see, I believe this is on the property and is a driveway. Um, otherwise, you've got tons of access sites. You see all that? Um, you've got tons of areas we can punch a driveway in. You've got a lot of clearings already existing, this being the main one, um, already existing. And then, like I said, there's power right along. I think it's this road or this road is what our agent had told us. So um, power's right there and it's going to check out. It's always a good sign to see that neighbors have developed, right? Like to see people building, you know, that signals to me, you know, well depth is is doable. You know, septic systems are doable. And at the end of the day, we're talking about 10 acres. This property is more than likely on 10 acres going to pass a perk test, right? We haven't gone to that far, but that's a first um, you know, thing you'll need to do to get, you know, essentially septic system in is your property to pass a perk test. Just go through Idaho Panhandle Health Department. It's, it's a pretty simple process. We're actually probably going to move forward with it ourselves just to have that on paper. Um, but it's not my biggest concern on 10 acres. This is a lot of land and you have other neighbors that have all passed perk tests and have septic systems in, right? Well depth, I've, I have heard through the grapevine somewhere around 600 feet um, for well depth. Again, you can contact the county and ask for ask for well logs of these neighboring properties um, and ask them and look at what the well depth is for these neighboring properties. Even if I zoom out, there's some more down here that might be good. And here's some more people that have built as well. Um, so you can look at well depth with them. So 
Um, that is really the property in a nutshell. The last thing I want to show you is looking at Onyx Maps. This is a really good app to use um, for land viewings. And it's not really showing it here. It's, it's not showing the parcel lines identified here because um, ownership changed so recently to our name. So on Onyx Maps, it's not giving you a great depiction of the property, but I believe this is going to be your boundary. This driveway is, and it goes back um, another, you know, look in here, it goes back another 83 yards, um, and then it goes across. Let's just map this out. And then it goes, you know, across the property this way, another 150 yards. Um, so if you if you hit this intersection, just to give you an approximate while you're out there, if you drive about 195 yards or, you know, 0.1 miles gets you to about the end of the property. So you can look for natural features in the landscape while you're out there to help you identify property boundaries. Um, I believe that it is surveyed. Um, again, I do have it listed with Aaron Cooper who can go do a viewing with you as well. Um, if you do want somebody to, to walk you through a viewing. So that's what we're looking at with the property. I did want to show you Onyx maps, but it looks like um, the ownership report isn't uh, essentially um, updated on Onyx Maps, so it's not showing our specific property that we purchased. It's just showing a big chunk of land here um, owned by Jason Kirsch. So, um, like I said, you know, I, the last part of this video, I want to talk about comparable sales. I want to talk about you know where we sit in terms of market pricing. You know, here's our property right here. I've got it pinned on a map with a heart signal there. We're at 189.5. I have it listed with Aaron Cooper. Um, you can reach out to her. Her contact information is going to be in here, I believe, at the bottom of the listing. Um, so if you go through here and if, if you can't find it, just get with us and, um, you know, we can, we can get you in contact with Aaron. Otherwise you can go view it on your own, but you're talking, looking at other properties out here, like here's a, um, for a better example, here's a five acre for three fifty. This is a really nice lot. Um, and then just kind of looking through here too. I mean, here's eight acres for four fifty. This is really comparable, isn't it? So that's got a Creek running through it. So what's the value of that? Like I said, I mean, we have a very, very strong price. You know, we're in the market of selling land, not holding it. This just got listed two days on market, five acres for 155, already 10 saves. Um, so that's a really good comp. These are really good comps here. 1.6 for 210, um, 320 for 10 acres. Like I said, you know, whether it be a spot to pull up your RV or camper, a recreational land investment, Whatever it may be, you know, we are offering an extremely attractive price. And, and so you could consider this still just a tangible real estate investment in North Idaho. Um, again, walking you through five acres for 325. Um, so like I said, this might be one of the best 10 acre deals you're going to find on the market um, in Bonner County, Idaho. So we have other listings in Idaho. I have other stuff in Montana too. You know, hop on the website. I just end all my videos with a disclaimer. Hey, this isn't real estate advice. This isn't legal advice. You know, this is me simply sharing what I know about the property um, from my experience in the industry. So you as a buyer are responsible for your own due diligence, whether you want to do it on your own or work with a real estate agent. Um, we do sell all of our land as is, um, and we're happy to work with you. Um, but like I said, wanted to end the video with that disclaimer, letting you know that, um, you know, you got to do your own due diligence. You know, the buyer is going to be responsible for that at the end of the day. We're sharing what we know. Um, give me a call. Um, we offer transparency, transparency and honesty here at Wilco Land. So just give me a call if you have any questions or, like I said, um, you can reach out to Aaron Cooper as well, listing this 10 acre for us too. So thanks for tuning in.